the Earth. Frozen and alone, exiled into deep space. Jupiter, the only remaining planet orbiting the Sun. No, it's not a premise for a disaster movie. It's one of many real scenarios scientists explored in their latest simulations. This time, the threat isn't the Sun swelling or a giant asteroid knocking planets into it like a cosmic bowling ball. It's something quieter and possibly already on its way. A recent study examined the potential consequences of a passing star coming too close. One such flyby could send planets crashing, flinging them into space, or mess with their orbits just enough to cause climate changes. But what are passing stars, and how likely is that to occur? Passing stars are normal stars, like our Sun, that move around the Milky Way. Since everything in space is always moving, sometimes stars pass near each other. Usually it's not a big deal. But if a star gets really close, its gravity can tug on planets like Neptune. That tiny tug can slowly change how the planets move, like a ripple spreading through the whole system. Scientists study these close encounters because, even though they don't happen often, they can have big effects over millions of years. They help us understand shifts in planetary orbits and how they may have shaped Earth's past. In fact, one theory suggests that a flyby 56 million years ago is what caused great climate change when Earth's temperature rose by up to 14 degrees Fahrenheit in just a few hundred thousand years. That huge temperature jump changed life on Earth, leading to the evolution of some species while causing others to disappear. Even though it's impossible to prove whether there was a flyby a long time ago, we do know that events like this could mess with Earth's orbit in the long run. That's in the past, but what about the future? So far, we know that the solar system will have a close encounter with another star called Gliese 710 in about 1.3 million years. Gliese is moving towards us and is projected to pass within 10,000 astronomical units of the Sun. It won't come close enough to throw planets off, but it could still send icy comets from the Oort cloud our way like a bored kid tossing a snowball without looking. One might hit something, but probably won't. However, in a recent study, scientists wanted to explore a more extreme scenario. What if a star passed even closer, say just 100 astronomical units from the Sun? That's about 100 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. From our point of view, it's almost unimaginably far, but in space, it's practically brushing shoulders. They ran thousands of long-term simulations covering up to 5 billion years of our solar system's future. And it turns out it doesn't take much. Just one close encounter can be enough to disturb the outer planets, like Neptune, and set off a slow-motion chain reaction that ripples inward. Over time, that gentle nudge can throw the whole system into chaos, a true cosmic butterfly effect. The good news is that even in this worst-case scenario, in 95% of simulations, the passage is nothing to worry about, and all the planets remain in place. However, in the remaining 5%, well, it's one disaster after another. The most frequent casualty in these simulations was Mercury. In nearly half of all unstable scenarios, Mercury ends up on a doomed path straight into the Sun. It's the smallest planet and the closest to our star, so it's especially susceptible to gravitational nudges, whether from the gas giants or from a disturbance rippling inward from a stellar flyby. When Mercury spirals into the Sun, you might think it's game over for the rest of the planets, but that's not always the case. Sometimes the system absorbs the loss and restabilizes, like an orchestra that keeps playing even after one violinist falls off the stage. Oops. Funny enough, Mercury already has a chaotic orbit, the most stretched and tilted of all major planets. And some studies already consider its fall into the Sun in the distant future inevitable. Now, Venus has a slightly better chance in these chaotic scenarios. It doesn't get ejected or swallowed by the Sun as often as Mercury, but it's far from being safe. Most of the time, the instability happens after Mercury goes rogue and disrupts Venus's orbit, 
nudging it into a slow-motion crash course with Earth or Mars. Even without the interference from field stars, long-term simulations show a tiny but real chance that Venus could eventually collide with Earth just from the way Jupiter affects Mercury. A Venus-Earth collision would result in both planets being completely destroyed. Oh well. A similar fate awaits Mars. According to simulations, in about 0.3% of cases, it either gets flung out of the solar system or collides with another planet. Mars is smaller and lighter than Earth, with weaker gravity, which makes it easier to knock it off track. What's interesting is that even in some cases where Mars is lost, Earth often manages to stay in place. Jupiter happens to be the heavyweight champion of the solar system, a proud owner of its own cloudy belts. Thanks to its massive size and strong gravity, it acts like an anchor, keeping everything else in check. There are 392 scenarios out of 12,000 simulations where all but one planet vanished, with Jupiter being the last one standing. Its stabilizing influence helps prevent smaller planets from going off course, and in some cases, it even helps the system recover after a disruption. Saturn, while less massive, seems to be Jupiter's loyal partner. But models show that when Saturn shifts its orbit abruptly, it can send gravitational ripples, known as secular resonances, straight into the inner solar system, nudging the orbits of planets like Earth and Mars. Finally, the most vulnerable ones are Uranus and Neptune. Sitting at the edge of the solar system, they're the easiest to knock loose, and in many simulations, they get ejected entirely. That loss sends gravitational ripples inward, disturbing the rest of the planets over millions of years. Even a tiny shift by 0.1% in Neptune's orbital distance can throw the whole solar system out of sync. The balance of gravitational forces would shift, forcing Jupiter and Saturn to readjust, which would push the disturbance toward the inner planets, destabilizing everything. Which brings us to the big question, what about Earth? While most simulated models leave Earth untouched, about 0.2% of the simulations end with Earth either colliding with another planet, Venus, or being thrown into the Sun. Out of 12,000 simulations, in 23 of those, Earth ends up as the only one still orbiting. But that's only if we don't include the Moon in calculations. With the Moon included, Earth becomes harder to predict. Our satellite could crash into Earth, get ripped away by a passing star, or destabilize our orbit over millions of years. Once again, this is a worst-case scenario, and while the odds are really, really small, it's not impossible. So with that in mind, let's entertain the idea and see what would happen to Earth if it were to end up exiled from the solar system. Earth would become what scientists call a rogue planet, drifting through interstellar space with no sun to anchor it. The surface would quickly freeze, with temperatures dropping to hundreds of degrees below zero. But surprisingly, life wouldn't vanish completely. Earth's core would stay hot for billions of years, powered by radioactive decay and leftover heat from its formation. That heat could keep underground pockets warm. Scientists believe that this is the case with icy moons like Europa or Enceladus. Life might cling on in different caves or buried oceans. It wouldn't be a thriving world, but it wouldn't be completely empty either, at least for a while. Just cold, quiet, and alone. A ghost of a once lively world. And somewhere out there, maybe another civilization will look up, spot a faint blue dot drifting by, and curiously start running simulations of what might happen if this blue planet were to get really close, say just 100 AU from their sun. Hmm. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.